hello students welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to discuss in brief about the molecular motors so as we all know that motors are responsible for the rotational motion so coming to the molecular motors they are nothing but biological molecular machines that are essential agents for the movement in living organisms especially a motor is a device that consumes energy in one form and converts it into motion or mechanical work these molecular motors can be broadly classified into two types one being naturally occurring molecular motor and the second one is synthetic molecular motors so coming to the naturally occurring molecular motors they include cytoskeletal motors cytoskeletal motors include myosin which is responsible for the muscle contraction at the same time myosin is also responsible for the intracellular cargo transport and it is highly responsible for producing cellular tension coming to the polymerization motors good example is dynamin and it is responsible for the separation of clathrin buds from the plasma membrane and it is being done by the gtp rotary motors means they are highly useful for the production of energy and the best example is atp synthesis so it is highly useful for producing the energy required by the biological system coming to the nucleic acid motors they are highly responsible for the gene expression that means they are highly responsible for the replication so gene will be transported from one generation to the another generation only because of the dna coming to the enzymatic motors they generally include aldolase so aldolase is involved in the metabolism of glucose and fructose especially energy will be harnessed from the glucose whereas fructose will produce the required fat for the biological system at the same time catalase is responsible for the neutralization within the cell so within the cell neutralization is possible only because of the catalase coming to the synthetic rotary molecular motors they are capable of producing continuous directional rotation under the input of energy and the best example is chemically driven rotary molecular motors so that means a molecule exhibits one complete rotation within four steps so especially in the year 2016 feringa and co-workers carried out 360 full rotation of a molecular motor in four steps let us see the rotation of a molecule so initially the molecule is having structure 1 and in the first step it is slightly rotated so that the alkyl group and acid group will be present on the front side of the paper and in the second rotation always the rotation is done along this single bond with the result what happens this o allyl group will move to the left side of the molecule and in the third rotation again the rotation is done along this single bond and coming to the fourth rotation the rotation is done along this single bond and it results in the formation of the original molecule so in that way a molecule by complete full rotation we will get the same structure and that can be done in four rotations this is all about the molecular motors if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day